Now what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. It's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah. Another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. really cared about this team, he wouldn't get turned around as soon as the next girlfriend walks into the room. I am Groot. I am not! We almost got killed back there. I almost got killed trying to get this ship back. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket! What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. Let's talk about it. Leave us alone. Groot, reason with him. Groot don't want to talk to you. Rocket. Maybe we should check other Novacore stations to see if they're all right. You want to check out Nova Corps, you do it after we get to nowhere! We should avoid making the rodent angrier. Why? He's cute when he's angry. Well, that didn't last long.
The Nova tracker on Peter's chair isn't looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. Three cycles is not a sufficient amount of time. Really hope we can have the thing removed on nowhere, or we'll need a new ship. I suggest getting one that smells more pleasant. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Assassin! Calm down! I'm just going to the bathroom. I am not agitated. You just looked at me like you wanted to stab me. My apologies. I have been told I have an angry thinking face. Did Rocket say that? No, it was Hovat, my late wife. Oh. Sorry. She used to compliment my contemplative scowls. She found them very arousing. All right, I'm out of here. Stop that. No chewing. Gamora? Not you two. Guys, stop using my toothbrush! Toothbrush? I thought it was a nail brush. That's a toothbrush! For cleaning teeth! You put my nail brush in your mouth? Demora! Now, Quill? After everything that just... Fine. Maybe the Slama thing is not so bad after all. Sure doesn't seem like it has Zephron's disease. We should find a name for the beast. Why? It's not like we have more than one. Her tenacious nature and pleasant disposition remind me of my daughter, Camaria. You want to name this creature after your dead daughter? I am considering it. It's a little creepy, but Cammy is better than calling her the Llama forever. It is decided, then. Nowhere here we come. Nowhere. The last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with the noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course! He's Chief of Security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Looks like Rocket forgot his stuff. Hopefully that means he'll be back for it.
Wonder if Rocket and Groot will be back to pick up the stuff they left behind. We may have to pack some boxes for them. Or throw everything out the airlock. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. If I were Rocket, where would I be? You were not. He was much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. And you would have lived a completely different life, and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. You're welcome. Them. They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice. Apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? It demonstrates a willingness to compromise. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We've not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. This place gets sketchier. Spaceport seems busier than normal. War always moves the poor to the frontiers. The Galactic War was over 12 revolutions ago, and we're still waiting for the fallout. Some wounds heal, while many scars remain. How do we find this cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Be good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, and befits them. Well, you're one to talk. How many people did you kill on your crusade against Thanos? Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Any word on your Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. Did they have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill? There were people who claimed to be able to see the future, sure. Any word I've on encountered your them on several planets. <gasps> Strange that's one of the things most galactic cultures share. 
That and walking on two legs. I always imagined aliens would be more alien. Soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. The Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You were his adopted daughter. Did you believe that? I didn't. Not for a long time. If Thanos was still alive, he'd have come after me by now. Team would be bad for you. Hi, Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm. No. 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 It's not... Oh. Oh, no, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the Cortati he wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. Being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. I told Peter Quill I would try. That is not the point. I'm not gonna ask, but if you wanted to talk about it... <sighs> we met after I escaped from a failed job. I, I was in bad shape. I'd probably be dead if Mantis hadn't found me. She saved your life. Yep. End of story. That is not the end of the story. I know, big guy. Let's just not push it right now. You seem to know the insect woman, Peter Quill, even if she could not remember your name. Last time I saw her, we were sharing a prison cell, except she said she was there on purpose. Sounds like Mantis. She's got some serious moves, regular ninja. Did not strike me as very serious. Huh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me! We gotta talk about this! So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, uh, let's go, group. What's the big idea, man? I think you got me confused with somebody else, pal. Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? We can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your ship together. You're more than 
just I know that's gone not anywhere. Itaquil! Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordidia. With your bridges. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? No, no, <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't remember meeting you, man, sorry. Wow. How the hell could you forget? Look, look, there was a couple of years there where uh, things got a little bit blurry, okay? There, you know, picking up missions, strange women, alien alcohol. So just like now? I can't believe this. You and me. Stop right there. What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! It's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song! The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Wait, 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 of course, I, I remember. You, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go! You, uh. You're going to sing a song. Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Roaring like a hurricane. Ride! Storm! 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 Very naughty. Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now we toss to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through, through the, the pouring rain. Pouring rain. Ride, Ride the song. So ready. Oh, come here. Oh! Uh... Come on. For Flark's sake. Let's go, Groot. Good time! Good time! Good time! You running the ravages now? I hear Yonder's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacor. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Uh, so, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, well, listen, Peter. I uh, 
Want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would have right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? <laughs> right, so I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? It's a ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah? I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember... Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. <sighs> Great. I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Storm! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Looks like you've got a lot of parts here. Just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Corps Disabler. 7, 8, 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work, no matter what. <laughs> and you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great, thanks. supposed to wait here for me, but, uh, they must already be inside. Yes, we do, uh, honey. Okay, how do I look? Amazing, as all. This place must be... Lottery tickets! Lottery tickets! Current jackpot! Extra moon! Can I interest you in a lottery ticket? The jackpot is five million units! And climbing! You say five million? Imagine what you could do with that. Pay off the new deck. Pay Corel, fix up the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to buy the jackpot of a lifetime? How will I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. Ask your verification. And an excessive verification fee. The jackpot will be transferred to your account. I'd hate to win and then not show up on time to claim the prize. I'll pass. Lottery tickets! Lottery tickets! Current jackpot! Extra moon!
What is this place? You have stumbled into the wonderful Emporium's gift shop. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the illustrious Emporium, private collection of Tanalir Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, 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 like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. Think I get him for free, right? Oh my, you must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Huh, interesting. No way! How'd they get that? Oh, cool! I don't get it. Fancy. Kind of neat. Dude, no way. I don't get it. Interesting. Dude, no way! No way! How'd they get that? Kinda neat. That's not good. Fancy. I don't get it. Huh, 
Interesting. Oh, cool. Fancy. No way. How'd they get that? to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be super fun the ball, win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheat, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game, just to prove that I'm on the up to milk. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Make your choice, Captain. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be. You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. Yes, you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better.
Drax, bud. Is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. You ever think what would happen if you just flew right through it? I do not know. I lack the appropriate appendages for flight. No, I mean, like, say you're standing at the edge of a cliff, right? Do you ever just get the sudden urge to jump? That would be foolhardy. Well, yeah, that's why you don't actually do it, but... Or if he still wants to. No one should die without meaning, Peter Quill. My wife, Hovat, and my daughter, Camaria, they died without meaning. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom won the uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. He shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, I believe that in order to reach Ultaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. And that failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. So that's why you come up here? Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No, no. Not at all. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom, in heaven, Got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah. Uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized... Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to quell fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I'd like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Your quill. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven.
that smell? Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose.
Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is. Because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. I am Groot. Stop being so nice to him. Growl, grumble, hiss. Fork! I give myself a heart attack. What's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die! Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Hey. <laughs> uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice, you don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple, uh, oh, I'll triple it. Yeah, that wrong. Get crushed, man. Just talk about this. It's Bruce Crawley, little Terran is scared.
Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Ah! Yeah. Uh! 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 Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space, 
Ugh, Mom. I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but something has changed. And now more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading... It's never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. Being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm going to let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Oh, my God. 